what's going on in this video i'm gonna let everyone know why i do not like jimmy calandra and why i don't like informants i want to make this very clear that i do not glorify the mob or any kind of gangster shit all right before i get into this just let that be known i'm not a mob groupie i don't know shit about no new york mafia um and I don't glorify nothing, no gangster shit. Now, that being said, all right, I'm going to talk a little personal about me today so I could get to, to, to the, the point of this, why I don't like Jimmy Calandra. When I was 16, I, I joined, you know, a group of people. We made a pact, you know, and, um, these group of people probably on the same level as this Bath Avenue uh, crew. Yes, we did a lot of horrible shit. Um, I got, you know, most of my buddies are coming home now. Um, some of them are home now. I got a buddy that's not getting out till 2036. Um, we did horrible shit. Um, it is what it is, but not one of us has ever turned state evidence or or, you know, cooperated, um, you know, I was 16, but I, I still made a pact with them, and I never turned my back on them, you know, I'm 41 years old, um, I have two kids, I, I, I'm definitely not uh, part of that life, I changed my life without cooperating, you know, um, did a little time, never, no serious time, but did a little time, but I, I can't relate to to uh anyone cooperating i mean you live yo you live by a code you made a pact with your friends you know um you have to have some integrity i mean even if in your even if you're in the wrong it is what it is you snitched on, on your friends now calandra's situation you know as far as uh you know his buddy passing away you know, hey, you're in the streets. You should have you should have killed those buddy your buddies who killed your friend. You know, but another reason why I don't like Jimmy Calandra is is this. I'm gonna read you something. With a recent tell-all interview with former Gambino underboss Sammy the Bull Garvano approaches 2 million views on YouTube. The families of the 19 people he's admitted to murdering are forced to grieve all over again. Authorities said one of those victims was a 16-year-old Alan Kaiser, an innocent bystander, shot and killed seconds after witnessing Gravano and as associate carrying out a drive-by shooting in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn in 1977. 42 years later, when Staten Island resident Joey and Tom Thomas Faraci, sister and brother-in-law to Kaiser, are asked by their grandchildren about a photo on their wall of a man they've never met, there's not a whole lot they could tell them. How much can we tell the grandchildren about him, said Thomas Faraci who was dating Joyce at the time her brother was killed. We knew him barely 16 years. He, was, he wasn't he was a gangster. He was just an innocent kid walking home. But, uh, you know, spending time with Sammy, there's a lot of conversations we had. Then the next morning after that night, we get up, we're both in our drawers, in our boxes, and Sammy is drinking coffee. Sammy gets up before me. Sammy's drinking coffee. And I come in the living room and Sammy says, you want a cup of coffee? Sure, Sammy, thank you. And then uh, he says, you want a shot of Zambuca? And we have a shot of Zambuca too. So that's how we started our day off. Then from there, we went to breakfast. Every morning we went to breakfast. Now sitting down with Sammy at breakfast was a fun time. We would so, Calandra was saying, saying that Sparrow 
is such a bad guy. He put Sparrow in jail because he was a horrible kid, a guy that was um, uh, brainwashing kids and all this other bullshit, right? Well, yo, you spend the night at a guy who killed a fucking sixteen-year-old kid. And if you're and, and if you're you're on this moral police thing now, yo, the guy participated in nineteen murders. What's up with him? What's gonna happen it, 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 if you start hanging out with him? You're gonna uh, rat on Sammy. If Sammy does something you don't like, man, get the fuck out of here. A lot of people here on YouTube are have this this uh, Calandra dust on them. They, they you know, Calandra is a bad guy. He's a fucking rat. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. I believe all informants are fucking pieces of shit. That's how I stand. Yo, I'm not glorifying the life, but when you're you're in the streets, it is what it is. You know what I mean? You know, I got out without ratting. There's many others that have. So just get out of here with that, man. I have no sympathy for Calandra. He could put the Calandra dust on all of y'all, but I know where I stand and I and and and, I, and how I feel. You know, um, since day one, I've 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 stand my position on on uh, on rats. And as far as we push back, we just don't go after Calandra. We go after Borello. Uh, we go after A Light. We go after all these informants. Now here's the thing: what people say. Calandra didn't lie. I'm pretty sure we could find something on Calandra. I believe all informants are liars. All of them are liars. You know that, that there's the there's the discovery. What what about the motions that weren't put put into court that that the jurors couldn't see? What about those? I'm pretty sure there was lies there. Some of you people here on YouTube that are defending Calandra need to do your fucking, fucking uh, homework. You know, you got this Calandra now making some a little bit of dough doing what he's doing. But what about that lady that passed away that he was not in, like he did not pull the trigger, but he was involved. What about that lady? Is he going to give some money to the family to that lady? Come on now. I'm speaking the truth now, man. You know, it is what it is. I am what I am, and, and what I won't be, I won't be. And I ain't no rat, and I never will be. And all this, what would you do if you were facing fucking 50 years? I'm not living, I'm not living in crime. And if I was, I would do the 50 years. You, you're damn right I would. Because I would take responsibilities for my actions. I wouldn't throw anyone under the bus. Just like my friends took uh, responsibilities for their actions. And they didn't throw anyone under the bus. So that's how I feel about that. That being said, tonight is uh, my Tuesday Night Live. If ever, anyone want to join in. Sorry, I'm getting a little frustrated. But I get very passionate about this. I'm Cuban and I get passionate when it comes to this stuff, man. Um... I'll see y'all tonight, Tuesday. Y'all have a blessed day. All right.